call that woman mum. What more proof do we need? I just think maybe we should double check that song. Lydia's fragile enough without you dropping another bombshell. Please, Sam. I just wanted to forget it ever happened. Yeah, I don't blame you after what she said. Well, at least I won't go wasting any more time making up stories of the family I never had. All illusions well and truly shattered. Have you ever stopped to think why she treated you like a total cow? That maybe there's more to this than meets the eye. I know you're all concerned for me. And I'm grateful. But what's done is done. Lydia's right. Who wants a sister like that, any wrong? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, I best get to work. Them decorators at home farm create more dust than the desert. <laughs> How could someone be so horrible to her? I mean, what's she ever done to them? See ya. See ya. I'm not letting this lie. Are you sure that's a good idea? All you've done so far is make matters worse. Well, I'm not the one wrecking garden furniture, am I? I'm going this alone. That Beth has got some serious explaining to do. I know you want to help with wedding arrangements, and I'm grateful, but I really... But nothing. All you've got is a blank page. I know. I was getting round to it. I... Yeah, when exactly? Face it, I'm your only hope. And when you put it like that, how can I refuse? You can't, that's the point. <laughs> See, someone's got you in check. Oh, no. When she should be enjoying being a teenager, no responsibilities, whole life ahead of her. I'm spending a few hours in the cafe and you're paying, that's it. So don't worry, I'll be out clubbing and meeting inappropriate lads as soon as I can. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, just wanted to grab a drink. Yeah, fine, help yourself. You're not at college today. No, it's my day off. Right, well, um, meet up with your mates, yeah? Don't be a gaming zombie. Come on, then. Wedding won't organise itself. See you later. Or, if you're at a loose end, you could help me out in the shop. Maybe I will go out after all. You can't just barge in here. I can if you've been lying to us. I don't know what you mean. Well, who was that woman that you were talking to yesterday? The one that you called Mum? Did you seriously think that we wouldn't find out? I don't have to justify myself to you. I think you do. Do you want to do this the easy way? Beth, what's all the shouting about? Sorry, I've got a big gob. Who are you? She's no one. I'm Mandy, Lydia's friend. Um, you might know her as Jenny. Egg Dora. She's nothing but a chancer. Can't trust her as far as you could throw her. What's all this about Jenny? Have you found her? Well, she's found her, all right. That's why I'm here. Can't you leave Danny alone for five minutes? I can't help it. He thinks I'm amazing. Uh, shouldn't you two be at school? Dinner break before I go kicking off. Danny blow you out, did he? Well, let that be a lesson in life. Nothing ever lasts. See, that's where you're wrong. He wants to see me later, actually. Well, fat chance, cos I need you here. You're cooking dinner tonight. No way. Yes way. It's about time you started pulling your weight, young lady, instead of chasing lads. Look, just because you blew it with Vanessa doesn't mean you can take it out on us. You really think some teen attitude is what I need right now? Relationships don't last. OK, I'd get used to it if I were you. Yeah, you should know you've had enough. <laughs> exactly! So I'm doing you a favour then, aren't I? Saving you the heartache in the long run. So get to school now and then straight home after, yeah? Why don't you leave us to it? I can take it from here. OK. And I've got a tab set up with Brenda, so just order whatever you like. Right then, let's see if we can tick a few things off this list. You seem a bit on edge today. Mind you, I don't suppose I'd want to bump into Kane if I were you either. Oh, careful. Where there's one dingle, another is sure to follow. You're chancing it a bit, aren't you? Just because Kane didn't leather you when you found Mars's, it doesn't mean you're off the hook. Free country last time I looked. Well, even so, I'd keep my head down if I were you. Don't want to make things worse, do you? Worse for you. All right. I've um, got one or two things to do at the office. I'll be back shortly, OK? I, um... I don't suppose we can talk. You told Jenny I was dead. Why would you do that? Because we've been through so much lately. I just wanted it to be us for once. But Jenny's your sister. I don't know her, do I? She's just a name I never stopped hearing, a fantasy. Not anymore. We're the ones grieving Dad. 
We're the ones that looked after him. Even so, you shouldn't have kept this from me. Jenny's got a new family of her own. She doesn't need us. How do you know if you don't give her a chance? You have no idea what we've been through. How hard it's been for us. But you know how much this meant to me. And your dad. It was his dying wish. She got the money. What more do you want? What I want is to see my Jenny. You avoiding the atmosphere in there as well? Charity and Shaz know how to hold a grudge, I'll give them that. Yeah, they're not the only ones that runs in the family. Don't I know it. Last thing I need is to be caught in the crossfire. We'll just leave them to it. They can look after themselves. Yeah, that's why I'm out here. Do you want a top up? Uh, no, I'm fine. I have somewhere to be. Yeah, anywhere exciting? Oh, you don't want to know. <sighs> hey. Coming in for a drink? Maybe later. I might stretch to a staff discount if you act as a human shield. Don't let Charity hear you say that. Mm, she knows a good ashtray cleaner when she sees one. Oh, don't sell yourself short. I bet you're good with a bug bush, too. on Halloween. It's not that I didn't like it. It just took me by surprise. You don't have to explain. My ego's dented enough as it is. I just felt so embarrassed. I don't know. I couldn't think straight. What, so you made me feel like a total idiot? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. I really like you. <laughs> You've got a funny way of showing that. Yeah. My head's a mess, that's all. Well, believe it or not, I actually get it. You can talk to me. Or just pull funny faces, I don't mind which. So you're not angry with me? Not if we forget Halloween ever happened. Seriously? Of course, seriously. I mean, mates like us don't happen very often, do they? Be a shame to spoil it. I was thinking about coming in, but scared you'd start chucking stuff about again. You just don't give up, do you? I told Darren and Chaz to keep out of it. I'll deal with Nate when I'm ready. Oh, OK, so we'll just sit back and let you, is that it? Works for me, yeah. And what kind of family would we be? <sighs> One that stops putting in before me. You can't change who he is. Right, so, um... You think that makes a difference after what he did? So you've never made a mistake? This is not a mistake. He knew what he was doing. I'm not saying it was right. OK, it was wrong, but he knows that now. I mean, the next thing you'd be telling me is it's my fault for having a kid that I didn't even know about. So you're prepared to admit it's your son? He's nothing to me. OK, fine. Ignore him. I mean, glare at him in the pub, but just don't... Don't what? Don't do something that you'll regret. Cos where will that end, Kim? With you in prison or worse, and nobody wants that. Don't they? I know that you're hurting and that you want to lash Don't you want to help him, Belle? Stop sticking up for him because it's really winding me up. Kim... Just stay out of it or something bad's going to happen. Let me know. You, you made it sound like some sort of an emergency. Oh, Mum just texted to get home, that's all I know. One minute I'm deep cleaning the parquet, the next I'm being bundled into a car and driven away at speed. Are you sure this isn't one of your scams? Get us out of the way while Mandy rifles through Kim's drawers? It's not a scam, all right? It's important. Or at least it might be, I think, if I knew what was going on, which I do, obviously. What? I'm just a messenger. Why are you staring at me like that for? Cos you're the only one here, aren't you? Are you going to tell us what's going on, then, or what? About a flipping time where have you been? Driving at a snail's pace. Someone's car sick, apparently. Someone? Someone like who? Oh, this is gonna sound crazy, right? Especially after me getting Beth to turn up yesterday, but oh, this is better, you'll see. And she wants to be here for a start. I didn't force her into it. Mandy, what are you going on about? Don't tell me Lydia's got another long lost sister. Jenny? It's been a long time. Oh. 
Oh, you, you're going to serve me? What? No, she's not. I'm not having your brooding face putting my customs off, thank you. So just go, all right? <sighs> I think going to hurt me. Just getting one drink, yeah? And then you're out of here. I'll get all the best jobs. Well, I'd make the most of it if I were you, because as of tomorrow, we won't be needing you on the payroll. Since when? Since I don't need Harriet anymore to let me use the village hall. No hard feelings, all right? Great. How am I supposed to save up for a Christmas present for Lucas now? If we always go back on the game, might make a tenner. Seriously? What's his problem? Just leave it. The mood he's been in is looking for an excuse. And I'm not stupid, I know what people think of me. Yeah, well, you need some lesson in manners. Coming from you, I don't think so. Stop showing off if I were you. Might end in tears. I've got it. Look, you want me gone? Fine. I'll finish my shift and then I'm out of here. Well, what about tomorrow? That's well, your problem now. No hard feelings. I don't understand. But Beth told me that you and my dad, that you were dead. Or is he outside in the car waiting to surprise me? I wish he was. I'm sorry about the way Beth's handled all this. In her way, she's just protected me. From me? From all sorts of things. But I'm here now and that's all that matters, isn't it? Is it? I know it's not exactly the best way for us to find each other. But if you only knew what it meant to be stood here looking at the girl that I lost all those years ago. You didn't lose it. You gave her away. And it broke my heart, believe me. You don't have to talk to her if you don't want to. I can tell her to leave. No. You're here now. We may as well talk. I've got a lot of explaining to do, I know that. We'll give you two time to talk. Alone. No. Sam, it, it's fine. I'll be fine. Go on. So... Well, where do we start? Right, guys, listen. I've left you some cash on the side. I need you to get me some bits from the shop, all right? Yeah, we're not slaves. No, your family, thank you. And not only right now am I in the middle of a breakup, I'm facing a double shift tomorrow. So we all need to be mucking in, all right? So where are you going now? To get your nails done? I'm going to pick Moses up, if you must know. He's meant to be at a mate's, but apparently he's too upset after being kidnapped. Does that count? We're teenagers, we're supposed to have a laugh, not run around after her. You heard what she said about Moses. No, what happened to him isn't our fault, is it? Why should we suffer? All right? We're just off to Jacob's. Now we're mates again. Since when? Since we worked things out. No thanks to you. See, how come even they get a life and we don't? Who cares? Look, forget Liana. We need to have a laugh to you, right? And if Gran's working double shift tomorrow, then we're going to make the most of it. After your dad left, things just got worse. I couldn't eat. I couldn't even get out of bed, let alone look after you. I hated myself for putting you in care, but I had no choice. You must have been about five at the time. I remember wondering what you must be thinking. This woman in her bed, just sobbing every time she saw you. Maybe it's a good thing I can't remember. It was the hardest decision I ever had to make. Without you, I had nothing. I, I, I didn't want to go on. I, I even tried to end it all. That's when they took me to the hospital. Finally found the right pills, got me going with counselling sessions. And it, 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 it took a few years, but slowly I managed to dig my way out of the hole I was in. But all that time, you were always on my mind, my focus. I had to get strong again so I could get my Jenny back. But you didn't. I tried, believe me. It was about then I met up with your dad again. Even though you weren't with us, we felt as if you'd brought us back together again. So we just carried on searching together. There must have been records. I mean, somebody must have known where I was. 
I don't know. You just slip through the net. Time passed. We had Beth. And you forgot about me? No, we didn't forget about you. We always talked about you, wondering what you'd become, wondering what amazing things you were doing with your life. And then we saw the news about that baby they'd found and, and saw your picture on the front page. And even though years had passed, I recognised your face. And you realised what a mess I'd made of me on life. No, oh, if anyone's to blame for that, it's me. You must have felt so lost, so scared. Oh, I'd no idea what you must have been going through. About time. It's freezing out here. Didn't know what to expect, did I? Half expect you came to be with you. I don't think that'd solve anything. Not with the mood he's in. So what's this? A friendly warning from the family? Someone tells me I wouldn't listen to that. More like came than you think. So? As far as he's concerned, what happened with Mars is doesn't make a dent on what you've done. He knows Mum lied to me all those years. You know, if I'd have known the truth. In Ken's eyes, it doesn't change a thing. So what? That's it. You say I'm family, then, then take his side. Believe it or not, we do want to help. And if you are serious about staying around, then you have got to lose the arrogance. Maybe that way we'll avoid someone getting hurt. I tried to pick up the pieces after the baby. Took on my new name, met Steve, got married. All the usual stuff. Did you have any more children of your own? We tried, but I kept miscarrying. I always thought it was the universe punishing me for what I'd done. Oh, don't say that. None of that was your fault. You were just a child. What happened to Steve? In a nutshell, he died and I lost everything. And then I met Sam and my whole world changed for the better. And you all live here? Mm. Sorry if you were hoping for more. I bet Beth's got a posh house and a whole brood of grandkids. She never really settled down with anyone. Always too busy looking out for me and your dad, taking a back seat while we searched for you. She did mention it. Don't blame her. After your dad became ill, she devoted her whole life to looking after him. That can't have been easy. I know she was awful to you, but she's a good person at heart. She just grew up with a ghost of Jenny to deal with. Well, it wasn't just that. Your dad's illness made him very difficult to deal with. Mood swings, anger, all that kind of stuff. At first we put it down to stress, but when the physical symptoms started, we realised it was something more than that. And we had no idea it was even in the family. What do you mean? That what was in the family? Thanks for letting me know. Hey, Jacob and Leanna still here. I saw them heading this way earlier, looking like mates. What? Oh, uh, Jake, yeah, uh, next time I'm playing on the computer. I knew it. Do you know, I am so happy for him. I mean, I know, yeah, okay, it's a little bit weird with her being May's stepdaughter and that, but. Pff. I think that's the least of our worries right now. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to like this? Because you're not. <laughs> that was a prison. We're releasing Mayor tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. No. David, he can't. I mean, listen to him, he's just, he's starting to make progress. I know this. What if she tries to contact him? What if we lose him all over again? No, we won't. Right? That is not an option. I mean, she won't be that stupid. This is May we're talking about. Who knows what she might do? I know it's a lot to take in, but it's not as bad as you think. Well, dear. What's going on? She's not being horrible to you, is she? No, nothing like that. I just, I just need some time to think, that's all. If your dad was here, he'd be able to explain it much better. 
Explain what? What's going on? Look, I want you to know that I'm here for you and it's quite possible that you won't be affected. There's a test. Beth's already done it and she's clear. I understand all that, OK? Just none of that's helping right now. Please go. You know where I am when you're ready. Now that I've found you, I, I, I don't want to let you go again. What was she on about? What's wrong? She just told me my dad died of Huntington's disease, that's what. What does that mean? I don't know, Sam. People keep popping up out of nowhere, talking to me, telling me my stuff that I just don't want to hear. I just... I want it all to go away, Sam. <sighs> <sighs> The new book, Emma Dill at War, follows the much-loved families during their trials and triumphs in the Second World War and is available now in hardback, ebook, and audio. It's the first Bush Tucker trial of the series tonight. See how Caitlyn Jenner and Kate Garraway do in Bugged Off when I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here continues at 9. Next, it's Coronation Street. <laughs>